Welcome back to Aquatic Australia. I'm your host, Sharky Jones. Today we're diving with Perth Ocean Divers and we're diving from the dive vessel Blue Destiny. I split the group into three more experienced divers in an independent group and then I closely supervised the two open water divers. As we descended, Claire, Elise and I had to go back up for more weights, but another group went down, also confusing things. Arriving on bottom, we didn't find the other three, and we looked around before heading towards the anchor as planned. Following the anchor chain, we find the shark cave, and we go inside, expecting to find the rest of our group. Elise and Claire are excited to see their first sharks. My GoPro is set up with a light to be able to see the spot patterns and two lasers to measure the shark's length for science. The data is used in a citizen science project supervised by two marine biologists. Today we have 14 sharks in the cave, the most I've ever seen. Normally we try to keep the diffuse video lights. In this case, we're trying to identify the spot patterns on the side and trying a, a more directional light. I was surprised to see that there was no other group in the cave at this time, but lots and lots of gray nurse sharks. We only stay for about three minutes, confirm our guys aren't in here. Therefore, I figure there may be down current and we head back out of the cave and back under the boat. Heading out of the cave, I spot a small stingray at the entrance. As I get to the down line of the stern, I head further down current and luckily I spot them looking in holes. I get their attention and we head back up into the current and into the cave, albeit with limited time and air, but it's enough. George, Chris and a guy, let's call him A, arrive at the cave. The best way to see the sharks is usually to sit still and they will often come up close to you. They are quite curious. Normally, all sharks sink if they're not swimming. Their oily livers give them buoyancy and their fins act like wings giving them lift. Bite the oily liver, they're still slightly negative. But grey nurse sharks can take air into their stomachs from the surface to become almost neutrally buoyant and hover and use their stomach almost like a swim bladder. 
Chris watches and films several sharks hover in front of us. A is also in the cave and sharks pass directly in front of him. After the dive, the divers are elated. I've never yet seen that many sharks at once in the cave. second dive is at Crystal Palace. Today is my 1900th dive. I was looking forward to showing the divers the big cave. However, with the viz and the swell, we didn't get to the big cave until the end, but we flew along a landscape of walls and gullies and crevices. That's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us on Aquatic Australia. Please like, share and subscribe. See you next time.